Okay, hey everyone, I'm live, and we're gonna be making sesame noodles today. And I just wanna show you here the ingredients. We have noodles, which are right over here. I'm actually using linguine today. And then we have also tahini or sesame paste. And I use the brand Mighty Sesame Company. And then we have uh, water, soy sauce, lemon juice, honey, ginger, and garlic. So uh, real quick, I'll just show you. Here's the garlic. And then we got lime juice. And then we have honey, tahini, and I'm about to get some water. Here. So uh, when you join in, let me know where you're joining from. Um, this is the first time I'm actually doing uh, sesame seeds, so I'm just going to say hello. And um, I'm live on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, so join in, let me know where you're joining from. And um, I'm going to start getting ready now. So. Um, Right now, basically, uh, I have my measuring cup here, and we're going to put in first, I'm going to put in half a uh, cup of tahini here. Okay, so uh, this is one of my favorite dishes. I had it on my, uh, a couple birthdays ago. I had it at Hua Yuan in New York. And hey, Richard, how are you? Uh, when you join, please let me know where you're joining from. Um, and then we'll get started. So I'm just putting some tahini in right now to get started. And uh, actually, it takes longer, to be honest. It takes longer to actually make the sauce than it does to prepare the noodles. But... Um, that's how it is. And I usually add some kind of protein. Today I might add langostino or baby lobster. Uh, we'll see, because that's I, I have that actually already cooked. So we're not gonna worry about that right now. And let me just real quick, I am gonna show you uh, where the oven is. And in fact, I'm gonna try to keep it at this angle from now on. And I'm just gonna turn this on. And I'm gonna let the noodles boil, turn some light on. There we go. So, okay, we have fallen angel. Why not an elderly lobster? Okay, so I'll actually show you what I'm talking about if you're curious. Um, these are langostino, also known as baby lobster. And I usually top it with either these or I'll show you what else I actually use. So, um, In the cover photo, which you would have seen at the beginning, um, these are the frozen baby lobster, which I keep in the freezer. I buy these at Wegmans, by the way. There's one on Flushing Avenue in Brooklyn. And then these are the clams, but I'm actually not gonna use these today. So, um, again, I just wanna show you uh, the tahini that I use to make this. It's actually made by Mighty Sesame Company. And, um, uh, shake well. You can see the little thing here, uh, the little warning here, shake well. And that's what I'm going to do. And again, if you're uh, joining, I'd love to know where you're joining from. If you've had sesame noodles, if you could recommend a place. Um, the last place I really had a memorable experience was Hua Yuan on East Broadway in uh, Chinatown in New York City. So uh, that was uh, on a pretty snowy day on my uh, birth my uh, most recent almost most recent birthday so um, yeah so okay um, so we're gonna put I'm just gonna put a little bit more in here and you could see um, that I have about a half a cup here and uh, okay Kemi uh, I know where you're joining us from you're joining us from Brooklyn so uh, Brooklyn and I hope you're going to join me tomorrow night as well. Uh, Kemi, so far all you missed is that I'm using this mighty uh, sesame tahini. 
and we're just going to basically fill it up to about a half a cup so you can see it's squirt there and we're making sesame noodles so we're going to go up to about four ounces and okay i think that's good but i'm going to just check really quick okay so um this is a dish that I actually started making towards uh, about six months after lockdown. You could see that I started to, uh, if you watch my Instagram videos, you could see I've been doing some Thai and Indian. Uh, but this is uh, one of my latest discoveries. And I just was showing them, Kemi, the baby lobster that I buy uh, at the Wegmans, which is in Brooklyn on Flushing Avenue. Sometimes I top it off with those. And then I also top it off with a generous portion of sesame seeds right here so yeah, I usually buy these at the Asian store you could buy them at Wegmans as well um, so and another thing is right behind me I'm gonna step over to the side here you can see the noodles are boiling right now so um, that's what we're doing and cool Wegmans ain't cheap uh, how is it compared to Whole Foods I feel like compared to Whole Foods it's cheap but if you could tell me some alternatives, I'm happy to hear them, Kemi. Um, I know you uh, are adventurous when it comes to food. You've introduced me to uh, at least one kind of cuisine that I had not had previously. And I probably introduced you to one. I like to think I probably did. Um, or I suggested them at least. I don't know if you tried them. So I'm just going down here and trying to come up with... Okay, so here we go. So we got the um, important ingredients. And also, uh, I have a car, so Wegmans is great for me. And also, the Whole Foods in Williamsburg uh, has a parking garage as well, so that's great. Um, okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm mixing water and sesame paste, or tahini. So this is really the first step, and in a minute, I'm going to actually show you the recipe itself. Uh, basically, after the noodles are cooked, I'm just going to uh, pour this on it. That's about it. Uh, so... The other ingredients, um, this is crushed uh, garlic and ginger, and I'll show you what I use to crush it. Just basically, I, I know uh, at least one person watching owns one of these. Uh, so this is a stove one. It's probably about 10 or 15 pounds. It's super heavy, like that super group that Mick Jagger had uh, in the early 2000s, super heavy. Um, okay, so here is the ingredients list. So we have noodles, sesame paste, water, soy sauce, lemon juice, honey, ginger, uh, garlic, and then uh, sesame seeds, which are kind of uh, at your discretion. And then um, I eat this, I want to mention that I eat this dish without sesame oil, but then when I reheat it later on, I do pour sesame oil on it. I find that makes it better um, later on, so... I'm gonna just push these noodles in a little bit because the water's starting to heat up. Um, and I just need to check one more thing really quick. And while I'm checking, nice music, man. Hey, Vinny, thank you. Dallas, Texas, uh, we got people from Brooklyn, Dallas. And I'm not sure uh, if the people joining on Periscope, if you could tell me where you're joining from. I know everybody where everybody from Facebook is joining from, but um, don't know about the... Uh, I don't, don't know about the people on Periscope. So real quick, I just need to check something here. Okay. Um, I have nice music nugget. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, I actually, uh, I think one of Bob Marley's children was uh, also in that project. And there's a Bob Marley Boulevard in East Flatbush, Brooklyn. Kemi, uh, could you tell me if you've been to Bob Marley Boulevard? It's actually outside. I am new here, I watched you. Uh, thank you very much, yeah. So Ariel the Urbanist uh, is a New York live video guy. We met at, uh, at a press trip in Bucharest, Romania. We actually met there. And um, he was doing live video on a tour that I was on with Urban Adventures through a cemetery. I guess it's probably the most famous cemetery. Squeezable sauce. Okay, so um, this, uh, um, just full disclosure, the, this was sent to me. But you could buy this on Amazon. If you go to my uh, 2020 holiday shopping list for foodies, 
There's a link where you could buy this. It's uh, Mighty Sesame Company. And then I want to show you one other product of theirs that they were nice enough to send me. Uh, okay, so this is one other thing they sell. So, okay, so now we got uh, Joy joining us from Manhattan. So they basically sell both of these. Um, uh, the, I'm trying to get used to the mirror effect. They sell squeezable tahini and they also sell tahini bars. So um, that's what they do. And uh, so far, if you're just joining, I'm mixing four ounces of that uh, tahini with um, four ounces of water. So I'm mixing that. And then we need to uh, get to the soy sauce. So um, it's a tablespoon of soy sauce. But since uh, we were talking about Wegmans before, um, when I buy sushi at Wegmans, I get these little packets and then I actually use them in my own recipes. So I'm just gonna tilt down. You can see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm just gonna tilt down, move this towards me. And I'm just going to rip these open and put them in here. And in the meantime, if you watched me last night, you'll notice that when I cook, sometimes I wear one of these. This is the coconut milk brand that I used. Yes, yeah, so uh, you'll give me a recipe to make my own tahini. Yeah, that's fine. I would appreciate that. Uh, so basically, these three packets are equivalent to a tablespoon. So I'm just going to pour these in here. And the linguine is starting to heat up. And if you're curious as to why I'm using linguine, uh, I'm actually using linguine because I tried, um, what did I try? Buckwheat noodles, soba noodles last time. And they were way too soft and delicate and it just didn't come out right. So that's the reason why. And um, I don't think I'll be doing that again. I'll probably like be using Italian kind of uh, pasta when I make this in the future. Or uh, what I'd like to know is if anybody has any other suggestions about noodles I can use for sesame noodles, that would be great um, because this is something I do want to start making more and more of. Uh, it's really becoming one of my go-to dishes. And uh, okay, so if you just joined us, here is the ingredients list. And one of the, it also calls for a tablespoon of honey. Okay, yeah, Go Vegan NYC is trying to join in. Uh, I'm not seeing your request, and I'm thinking maybe that's not possible. Egg noodles. I don't have egg noodles, but next time I go to um, H Mart or Hong Kong Market, Hong Kong Supermarket, if you're in Manhattan, Hong Kong Supermarket on Hester Street is one of my common stops. So uh, what we're going to do next is just put a little honey in here to sweeten it a little bit. And... Um, uh, if you notice, if you're looking behind me, it's you can't really see it right now, but you may have noticed the plethora of magnets. I don't buy a lot of shirts uh, when I travel necessarily, but one thing I always buy is a magnet. That's the one thing I tend to uh, make sure I get. So I'm just scraping this honey down in here because honey's pretty thick and it's not just going to pour down. So next, uh, the recipe is calling for one tablespoon of lemon juice. But before I do that, I need to check the noodles. Yeah, so they're starting to soften, they're starting to cook. And um, I'm just gonna push them down into here and let them cook. And, um, okay, so let's get back to the sauce. We've put about half the ingredients in at this point. So next uh, recipe is calling for one tablespoon of lemon juice. Uh, Lemon. Lemon is a U2 song. I know uh, people who tune in like to hear my song references. Lemon's a U2 song and the Lemon song is a Led Zeppelin song. So um, songs always pop into my head. Uh, if you've been following me, you'll know that. And again, I want to thank everyone who saw me on Urbanist Live and is tuning in because uh, I had a great time on that show and Ariel and I are actually talking about possibly doing another episode, which I hope that happens. We did, a, we did one on my Ramones punk rock tour, but um, I also do a Goodfellas tour, and uh, before before I say goodbye, this is a pretty quick one tonight, but a quick one like the Who song, but uh, this is a quick one tonight, so uh, I do want to drop that link before I say goodbye. Uh, last thing we're going to put in here is uh, garlic and ginger, which I crushed, uh, in case you're just joining us, I use this mortar and pestle, this heavy stone mortar and pestle to crush the garlic and the ginger. 
And this is starting to boil. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit so it doesn't overflow. And now I'm gonna pour, pour, kind of scrape the ginger and the garlic in. And then I'm gonna start mixing everything together. So it's Friday night. Um, my plans this weekend involve uh, a live video tomorrow night in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And then hopefully, uh, if it's not snowing too bad, maybe another live video. I'm planning to do a Goodfellas live walking tour, but I didn't announce it for this Sunday yet because I didn't announce it for this Sunday because the weather's gonna be unpredictable. Uh, New York's, uh, the Northeast in general has getting, been hit pretty hard this summer, so, um, or so, sorry, this winter. Uh, I grate mine. Yes, uh, I do have a grater. I'm not doing that right now, but this this actually calls for grated ginger, but I've become so comfortable with the mortar and pestle that that's just been my go-to. So, um, yeah. So, Vinny, um, from Tex Dallas, Texas, if you end up ordering the Mighty Sesame, uh, I'd love to know what you think uh, because this has been the brand I've been using uh, the most lately. And... Um, I'm happy with it. So um, I had the old one that I bought at a, uh, a Middle Eastern store in Whitehall, Pennsylvania that I had to use. And then when I ran out of that, I started using this one. So all those fun little details. So let me just hold this up. Susan Gray, love the Ramones tour. Yeah, so uh, if you have questions about uh, the Ramones or anything, just Google I May Roam Ramones because I actually have a blog post, which if my hands were a little cleaner, I would include it in the notes. But just so you know, this is going to go up on Twitter and it's going to go up on my Facebook page after this. So uh, you'll be able to watch this or if any of your friends or family didn't get to tune in. Uh, so this is, I've mixed this about as much as I can. And I'm just going through my checklist here. Uh, the noodles are boiling. We have the sesame paste, the water, the soy sauce, the lemon juice, the honey, the ginger, the garlic. And I won't top it with sesame seeds until we're done. So... Um, and I have a nice big bowl for that. So right now, I'm gonna start putting some of this away. And again, this is the sesame paste that I'm actually using. Uh, just look in here, shake it up well. I'm seeing if it has to be refrigerated. Store in a cool, dry place. Of course, it's from Israel, uh, where I guess sesame uh, paste probably, uh, when I was on a press trip there, uh, uh, when I was on a tour there, they actually uh, took us to the place where they say that tahini was invented. So uh, I'm gonna start putting some things away. I'm gonna put the lemon juice away. Yeah, this is starting to boil. I'm gonna turn it down to low and then move it around a little bit. And I, like I said, I like strong, firm noodles when I'm making this. So, okay. Um, great job, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start putting a couple more ingredients away while the pasta boils. And um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to let me know. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually doing this. Uh, actually doing, don't overcook the noodles. Kemi, uh, doesn't that make the noodles al dente if you overcook them? Um, okay, so I'm just mixing them around. No, I won't overcook them, but I do want to leave them in there for a couple more minutes. And in the meantime, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Okay, Avnish is hungry. And this gift, uh, this was a gift from Avnish and his family, this shirt you're wearing here. And um, this apron that you see was a gift from Go Vegan NYC. Um, so yeah, basically Avnish, here's what you missed. Sesame noodles. Uh, this is the recipe. I've already mixed, I've already mixed this up. Um, this is basically what I have written down here. And uh, Avnish and his wife taught me some recipes that I ended up um, doing on Instagram. So if you see the uh, chicken tikka masala or the um, cashew chicken, I believe was another one I did, just go to my Instagram and look up the IGTV videos and you'll see. Um, you'll see exactly what I did, um, which they taught. If you make them al dente, but too soft noodles, meh. Kimmy, what's your favorite pasta dish? Like pasta di, like you tell me what, what's your favorite pasta dish? Uh, and if anybody else wants to share their favorite pasta dish, um, I've been fortunate enough. I have family in Italy. Um, I have family in Italy that's actually uh, taken me to some restaurants there. 
Uh, they never actually cooked for me, believe it or not, but I didn't spend a lot of time there if you consider it like seven days over two trips. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put this away in my water container and I'm gonna put the water away and just mix this a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Um, Go Vegan NYC, have you tried to join and be a co-host? I'm curious if that works. Penne and bow tie, anything. Okay, great. Um, I'll show everyone since we're waiting for a minute. I'm going to actually show everyone uh, what I have in stock as far as pasta. So I don't have penne or bow tie, but um, I'll show you what I do have. So I have these... Uh, Puta sauce, lasagna. Okay, so I have these uh, soba, these ramen noodles I bought. Um, this are, I believe the theme here is made in Australia, the Japanese way. Okay, and then I have some more soba noodles, which I actually do not recommend. I don't recommend these soba noodles with, um, with this dish. What I recommend is a firmer noodle, like uh, thank you my, to my grandmother. Um, she's not watching, but uh, she gave me these because um, she knows I like to cook, so that's what I have in stock right now. And I'm sure I'll come up with some ideas. I find the soba noodles are better for soup. I don't know what everyone there thinks. Um, yeah, so Avnisha's gonna come to New York. I really hope so. Um, we've been talking about this for years. I actually went to India with Avnish, so if you uh, see my picture with the outfit that was actually uh for a wedding that i went to with his family my first trip to india so i highly recommend it's like uh one of those countries you could visit it's right up there with uh don't mean to leave anyone out but like i would say uh italy israel india i mean uh, three eyes i'm thinking of countries that begin with eyes so um yeah those are all countries you should definitely visit i don't know what puta sauce is can you elaborate on puta sauce Okay, it still feels a little rough. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. And, um, yeah, so rice noodles is good for gluten-free, yes. Um, I'm gonna just take out the plate here that I'm gonna use, the bowl, I should say. This is one of my favorite bowls. I don't know what you think, but um, this is one of my favorites. This is what I'm actually gonna use to put them in. I don't eat all this in one sitting. Um, you know, I'll actually, Put it in the refrigerator and then what i would typically do is um you know after you know in, in the next week i'll probably just um have a little bit every night but when i reheat it what i wanted to say okay now i know what that is kemi what i wanted to say was um i usually pour sesame oil on them and kind of mix it around when i reheat them otherwise uh, they stick together way too much if anybody has a remedy for this uh, like i said when they're fresh i don't use the oil but when I reheat them, I do. And I usually pour, I'm gonna show everybody since, I know a couple of you just joined, but I usually use either um, clams. I'm not using them today. Yeah, soba is softer for better, uh, better for soup. Uh, sometimes I top with this baby lobster as well. So, um, yeah, so speaking of soup, uh, Kemi, when I was in Tokyo, I ate at all kinds of expensive restaurants. I ate on top of I ate uh, Kobe beef on top of Tokyo Tower. Um, it was a really kind of uh, up you know up higher end trip compared to what I'm used to. But believe it or not, my favorite dish during that trip was the day I was on my own. I went to a museum and I stopped at this little corner cafe and I got. Um, noodles with shrimp temp uh soba noodles with shrimp tempura and it was 500 yen which is like three four dollars and it was actually like my favorite meal of the trip uh it's still i have a picture of it it came out perfect the lighting was perfect and everything so um yeah so expensive isn't always better but it was cool eating kobe beef at the top of uh no, it wasn't Tokyo Tower, it was Skytree. On top of the Tokyo Skytree, I ate Kobe beef. Uh, so that was pretty cool. And now I can't visit Japan or maybe 20 countries we could visit as Americans right now. So again, this is, uh, it settles really well. So right now it's very, um, 
it's not, uh, it's settled. I guess that's the best way I could say it. Um, yeah, so if anybody has any weekend plans, let me know. If uh, I want to tell everybody one more time. Tomorrow night, 4.30 p.m., New York time, I'm going to be live from Pacific Palm Burmese Restaurant in Allentown. Um, uh, Burmese food's hard to find, but I'm friendly with the owner. He's going to sit with me. Maybe members of his family will sit with me. And from 4.30 to maybe 5.30, we're going to sit there and try different dishes. We're going to talk about Burmese food. And uh, I know, uh, Kemi, you're in Brooklyn. There's a Burmese restaurant in Crown Heights now. There's, uh, in Pennsylvania, there's only two. There's the one that's been there forever on Ninth Street in Chinatown in Philly. And now there's this one near the baseball stadium in Allentown. So if you do want to tune in tomorrow at 4.30, it will be highly appreciated. I'm thinking of going on Periscope, but I'm definitely going to be live on Facebook. I even created an event page, and I'd love to have you join. So um, I'm going to take Kemi's advice, and I'm not going to overcook the noodles. And I'm going to drain them out right now. So... This is it. Uh, you can see right there. And turn off the heat and just let them drain here for a couple minutes. And then really, um, after I do that, after I do that, all that's really left to do is just um, pour them in here and top them with the sesame paste, kind of whirl it around a little bit and then um, eat it. So. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, testing out Prism Live. Uh, I'm actually testing out the Prism Live app tonight, so it's really helpful everybody joining because uh, this one is what I'm planning on using for tomorrow. And um, I don't know if you could zoom. Yeah, you can. So if anybody wants to while the, this, the uh, noodles are draining. Okay, yeah. So if you want to see my magnets, these are my travel magnets. So. Um, and actually all sides of the refrigerator have them. So trying to move my shoulder out of the way. And yeah, so basically everywhere I go, I get travel magnet. That one over there is a slice of Brooklyn uh, tours. That's my friend, Tony. Um, I highly recommend them. If you're in uh, New York and you want to uh, get to know Brooklyn a little bit better, um, if you want to get to know Brooklyn a little better, his tour is uh, a personal favorite of mine. So now I just need to figure out how to, there we go, zoom back out. So, okay. And then this picture up here, I'm trying to, let's move the comments. No, we're not moving the comments. Okay. Well, the picture's there. So um, great job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you everyone for tuning in. So now uh, just going to pour these onto here. And um, yeah, so we basically have a huge plate of pasta. And then next I'm gonna tilt down and I'm just gonna pour the sesame uh, noodles down on here. So um, we have, yeah, so yeah, Avnish has magnets for me. So does Go Vegan NYC. Um, and I have a huge trip planned for November. Does anybody know where it is? I'm not sharing this with too many people, but since this is kind of a small intimate group, uh, I'm happy to share. Uh, my next travel destination. So here we go. Sorry, I'm, I'm still getting used to the, the, the fact that uh, the mirror is different in this app, which is one reason I'm not just going live from Facebook like I did last night with the Tomka coconut soup, which Joy gave me uh, the recipe. Um, because when I try to hold things up like the recipe, it will be backwards. I know some of you uh, have done live videos and Instagram stories before, you might know what I'm talking about, but uh, just a tip, when you're trying to show anything that people have to read, if you wanna do that on an Instagram story, I just do it on the camera phone. That's what I do. And that kind of helps. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna break my rule and actually just put a little bit of uh, sesame oil in here the first time. Love. Okay, Paula. Hey, Paula. When are you going back to Abu Dhabi? Uh, when I'm invited. I think they're, uh, I'm, I think Abu Dhabi is actually uh, accepting, or the Emirates in general, are actually accepting Americans right now. So thank you very much for joining, Paula. Paula's also in New York. Uh, we got a lot of New York people here today, and I don't want to forget uh, Texas, Pennsylvania, 
and anyone from Periscope. So as I mentioned, when I prepare this, I usually use a, a huge uh, serving of sesame seeds. So you can see right there, that's a lot. And I'm gonna break my roll and actually put a little bit. Brian is good cook. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Kapkun, uh, yeah, so uh, some Thai. Kapkun mak mak ka. Uh, speaking of Thai, this is the coconut milk I use. This is what I used in my live video last night. Um, so here, I'm gonna go down on these noodles here and just get a little bit of sesame oil. Okay, um, so I just want to show you this. So this is a place I don't. Uh, I shopped at back in probably October. The Blue Olive in Cold Spring, New York. I bought sesame oil there because it's something I go through pretty quick. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in here. Um, and Paula, you're just joining us. Do you, if you like to cook, Paula, why don't you share what you like to cook, if at all? And if not, like, just share one of your favorite dishes since this is a food themed event. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. It does help uh, prevent the noodles from sticking together, which I like. And again, if you are in uh, Cold Spring, New York, check out the Blue Olive. Uh, they're not paying me to say that, it's just I really enjoy their sesame oil. So uh, just mixing it around in here. And it'll make it easier to clean this later. So, um, okay. I can't cook, Brian. Okay, well, um, do you want to share, like, uh, can you recommend a restaurant in your city or your neighborhood or something? Um, yeah, if you want to recommend any, like, a restaurant in your city or your neighborhood or your favorite style of cuisine or something like that, I'm happy to hear it. So uh, we have at least one chef joining us. Uh, if you could see Go Vegan NYC, um, that's a little, right now they're just doing takeout. Uh, there's no indoor dining until Sunday, but uh, 50 Avenue A is their address. I'm happy to share. That's why I'm watching you because you want to learn. Okay, Paula, I'm going to actually share the recipe in a minute then. So thank you for pointing that out. Um, okay, so there you got sesame oil, tahini, sesame sauce, sesame paste, noodles. And uh, I'm debating whether or not, paella, okay, Spanish, Spanish. These are langostino baby lobsters. Sometimes I'll top this dish with these. Um, so right now, um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna mix it around. And I wanna show, I know Paula's just joined us on Twitter. I do wanna show you, uh, this is the actual recipe. And anyone, uh, feel free to private message me. You still have the oil, of course. Um, I uh, don't, you know, I uh, don't go through it that fast, but um, yeah, so this is the recipe. We got a half pound noodles, half pound of sesame paste, half cup, half cup, I'm sorry, half pound noodles, half cup sesame paste, half cup water, one tablespoon soy sauce, one tablespoon lemon juice, one teaspoon honey, one teaspoon ginger, one clove of garlic, sesame uh, paste, and Polly, you should buy yourself one of these if you ever want to try this dish. This is what I used. Use your finger to scrape it. To scrape what? Uh, what am I missing? Um, okay, this is what I use. It's like a 10 or 15 pound mortar and pestle. I use this to crush the uh, garlic and ginger. So, um, another thing uh, I want to mention, uh, just get one last look at this. Okay, so one more thing I want to mention is that... Um, I'm gonna be live tomorrow night from Allentown, Pennsylvania at a Burmese restaurant. Um, this is a tough time for restaurants, so I'm trying to shine some light on one of only two Burmese restaurants in Pennsylvania. Um, there's actually only one in New York that I know of right now, it's in Brooklyn, but um, I'm gonna be live tomorrow night. And I also wanna start um, doing, go, doing some YouTube live as well. So if you can go to youtube.com slash Brian May Rome, the tahini mix, oh, so, okay, I understand what you're saying. Um, but if I do that, Kemi, then I can't type in what I wanna type in. So um, I'm just gonna type in real quick uh, my YouTube channel, because I would love for you, uh, if you're not already, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, because I wanna start doing um, live 
videos on YouTube as well. Right now we're live on Periscope and Facebook. Um, but this is my YouTube channel. It's just youtube.com slash, uh, where's the slash? I'm trying to find that. YouTube.com slash Brian May Rome. Um, where is it? So trying to find it here. All right, I don't see this on my keyboard, but youtube.com, Brian May Rome. Um, okay, so Brian May Rome is my YouTube channel, just like everything else. Here we go, youtube.com slash Brian May Rome. Sorry, uh, this is the first time I'm actually using this app. It's called Prism Live. And the reason I'm using it is, number one, it doesn't have that annoying mirror effect. And number two, it does not have... Um, it allows you to go uh, simultaneous, it's simulcast live. Uh, in this case, I'm just doing Facebook and Twitter. If you have a link you'd like to drop, like um, I know like uh, I just want to do this for Go Vegan NYC, um, at Go Vegan NYC. Uh, I'd like you, if, you, if you're interested to follow them, Go Vegan NYC. I'm not a vegan, but I love their food. So at Go Vegan NYC on all the major social channels. And I'm at Brian May Rome on all the major social channels. And if you want to drop any links, you have about a minute to do it. Um, and then I'll see, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow night, uh, 4.30. Let me just go in here. And um, so it's 4.30 p.m. tomorrow night on Facebook and Instagram. I'll be live. So um, try this again. Okay, so here we go. Where is it? Okay, and another thing I want to mention is, since I'm trying this app out for the first time, uh, I'd like to know if anybody could tell me if my sound is okay, and um, you know if you're able to hear me, if it's clear, how the lighting is. Uh, I won't, uh, tomorrow night I'll be at a, re a different place. I'll be at a restaurant tomorrow night. But um, if you have any feedback, uh, share it with me in Messenger. Or tell me right now really quick. Um, and then I just, I'll show you real quick. Uh, for tomorrow night, um, that is some of the dishes that we're going to be trying when we're uh, live tomorrow night. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, sound is good. Thank you, Susan, and I hope you'll tune in tomorrow, 4.30 New York time. It's not just going to be me talking. I'm going to be interviewing at least one uh, person that has a Burmese restaurant, and we're going to learn about one of the most underrated Southeast Asian foods. I love Thai food, but, you know, it's it's everywhere now, so, like, it's nothing new to people at this point. But, um, yeah, so thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Yeah, Avnish, we should meet there one of these days. Um, you just let me know. It's At this point, it's kind of a – Allentown's like a halfway point for us. Yeah, no share icon. I think that's uh, because of this app. If I was doing it directly from Facebook, Go Vegan NYC, I think, I think it would work. But thank you for trying. Um, and then, you know, tomorrow I won't be trying to share the screen with anyone anyway, so that's not going to be an issue. But I think this app worked well enough that I'm going to be uh, using it tomorrow night. Pamela, thank you for joining. Uh, I'm guessing you and Avnish are together right now. Pamela, I think you just joined. So with that in mind, I'm just going to show you what you missed. Avnish, yeah, I'm ready to travel. Yeah, so I actually have a trip booked for November 19th. Uh, this is what you missed, Pamela. Um, uh, it's it's uh, linguine pasta, sesame seeds, tahini sauce, uh, a little bit of sesame oil. And just one last time, Pamela, I'm just going to show you here. And Pamela, I hope you'll tune in tomorrow night uh, live from uh, – tune in live from uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania, which like I said, is kind of a halfway point for us right now to meet. So thank you, everyone. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Brian May Rome. And I hope to see everyone tomorrow night and in the future as well. Late from the office looks delicious. Yeah, Pamela, I'm going to try to post this recipe on the Facebook page. So uh, this way you could see it. And feel free to message me if you don't see it there. Thank you. Good night, everyone.